Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Anae. And we live here in Africa. And we love nature. And we really enjoy sharing our love for nature with you. Today we're going to talk about giraffe. Now giraffes are very interesting creatures. So a friend of mine watched our previous video about zebras. And then he sent me a voice note. I'm going to play the recording for you. It's so funny. Can you please, please do giraffes? That's my favorite animal. Please, please, <laughs> can you do a giraffe? I am begging you. Now that is a guy that really likes giraffes. That is why we're making this video about giraffe. And we really can't wait to talk about giraffe because they're such interesting animals. So the first and obvious question is why are giraffes so tall? That's because they eat the leaves at the top of really tall trees that no other browsers can eat. That's of course true. But uh, we've also seen giraffe sitting down uh -huh. <laughs> and eating grass. Yeah, that was so weird. There were trees all around him, mm. but he decided he's going to bend all the way down and eat something off the ground. It looked so weird. And it's really awkward when they do that. I think more often they have to get down and drink water. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, a giraffe is massive. It's like five meters high. It's like 15 foot. Mm. And this head, this big head that's 15 foot up has to come all the way down to the ground and then drink some water mm -hmm. and then go all the way back up again. And I just think like, how do they not get dizzy and fall over? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like if you ever try to stand on your head and then you come back up, you feel like super dizzy. But that's only, you know, human height. I'm sure it's got some special organs or some way that it works mm -hmm. that allows it to do that. We should ask Jason that just now. Yeah, I think so. It's something else about when they drink that's, it's so awkward. So if you haven't seen this before, it's really funny. The giraffe will walk up to the water's edge and then he'll kind of put this leg out and this leg out. And then he's like, reach down and then no, 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 no. There might be danger around. Look around, maybe pick his legs back up again. Mm -hmm. Look around. Okay, let me try it again. And then he does it again. Uh, no, 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 no. And like normally they, they cancel their drink like four or five yeah. times before they actually drink. And... Uh, you could just sense how awkward this whole process is for them. There's an interesting kid's story that I think might explain why it is they're so nervous to drink. And okay. it explains why their neck is so long. Okay. Well, kid's story is our favorite part of <laughs> these videos, so please tell us. One day, the giraffe, who had a very short neck at the time, was walking along through the savannah, and it was a very hot day. So he was very thirsty. But he knew that in the waterhole was a big, scary crocodile. So he put it off. He was like, no, it's fine. I'll be okay. But eventually it was just so hot and he was so thirsty. He had to go have a drink of water. So he walks up to the watering hole and he bends his short little neck down to drink water. He's nervous. He's looking, but he's too thirsty. He's got to drink. So he starts drinking and the water's so cool and so refreshing that he kind of loses track that there's a crocodile to look out for. And he just drinks and drinks and drinks and enjoys it so much. And the next thing, snap, the crocodile's got his head. <laughs> so he is yeah. fighting for his life. He is pulling back and pulling back and pulling back so hard that his neck starts to stretch and stretch <laughs> and stretch and stretch. And eventually the crocodile lets go. Now the giraffe's standing up here with this massive long neck and he's petrified of taking a drink of water. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. I like that story. <laughs> That's why they're so nervous around water. I'm sure of it. It makes perfect sense, yeah. <laughs> we have to discuss baby giraffe. Yep. Uh, baby giraffe are just so cute, like pretty much every baby animal. Yes, very much so. They, they have this most amazing start to life. They fall like six foot to the ground. Boom. Whoa. And then what's really amazing is within a couple of minutes or hours, that giraffe is standing up and he's like as tall as a human. Yeah. Tall yeah. as an adult human. And he manages to stand up and soon after that he's walking and it's just phenomenal. I mean, a human takes two years mm -hmm. to learn how to do that. Remember uh, that little baby giraffe that we saw not too long ago? He couldn't have been more than just a few days old because mm. his umbilical cord was still there. And he was, yo, he was super tall, 
probably about six foot tall, mm. and walking around as if he'd been doing it for years. Yeah. He was very comfortable on his legs. Yeah, they really seem to enjoy their lives out in the savannah. And then, of course, every giraffe has its pet mm -hmm. or pets. Are you talking about oxpeckers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's so true. Every giraffe that you see will have at least one, but probably a whole lot more oxpeckers on it. Yeah, even baby giraffe have oxpeckers on them. For those who don't know, an oxpecker is a little bird. He's only about this big, and uh, he eats ticks off the back of a or back of lots of animals, including the giraffe. But you almost never see a giraffe without at least one oxpecker. And sometimes they have like up to 10 oxpeckers on them. <laughs> they seem quite systematic. I mean, when there's so much skin that you've got to get through, you've got to have a system. They kind of pick out a little square patch and then they chew through with their little beak all the way through in little lines and then they hop over to the next spot. They, I think they've got a system going there. Because <laughs> the giraffes are obviously, they're happy that the birds are eating the ticks off them. Mm -hmm. But um, every now and again, you can see that they just get a bit tickled and then they like chase the, the bird away. And within two seconds, he's back again, yep, maybe exactly. on a different part <laughs> and he's looking for food again. Oh yeah, especially when the oxpeckers are being a real nuisance and they're on the face of the giraffe. Mm. I mean, they dig their heads straight into the ear of a giraffe. Sometimes they go into their nostrils to try and get ticks out. It's a bit of a messy job. And I can just imagine that must be like super ticklish. <laughs> Have you ever noticed their super long, deep purple tongue? And their tongue is so effective at taking everything off the branch. Sometimes it looks like they're eating the leaves and the thorns and everything all at once. But I've heard that some other browsers also have dark tongues. I wonder if there's any significance to that. Yeah, that's a good point. I think we should give Jason a call and let's ask him about the long tongue and the dark color. And let's also ask him about its long neck. How mm -hmm. does it actually manage to go down and drink water, come back up? Like yeah. 15 foot. Without getting dizzy and falling over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's give him a call. Hey Jason, how you doing? Hey there Jason. Hi John, hi Anae. How you guys doing? Good man, always good to chat to you. We've got some questions for you today about giraffe. I'm always happy to share interesting facts about nature with you guys. Obviously they've got a long neck, but when they come down to drink and go back up, Shouldn't they get dizzy and fall over? Do they have some special way of handling that? And why is their tongue so long and purple? Giraffe belong to the family Giraffidae and they are predominantly browsers, which means they feed off leaves. <laughs> That's classic. So their family name is Giraffidae. So next time I see giraffe, I'm going to be like, Hey, how's your day? I'm having a giraffe day. <clears throat> no? Mm. Yeah. And they doesn't like it. Sorry to interrupt. Carry on, Jason. They are a wonderful example, once again, of how balanced nature is. Because if all the browsers just fed at the same level, the trees would tend to get bare towards the bottom. But because giraffe have these wonderful long necks, they're able to reach to the top of the trees and feed on the tree in a balanced way. Now life for the long neck would mean that they would need certain systems within their body to be able to cope with this, specifically their circulatory systems, because the blood needs to be pumped against the force of gravity. Now to cope with this, they have a very large heart that weighs up to 12 kilograms. They have another system in the body within their arteries called the choroid reti, which regulates the pressure to the brain. So what this does is it enables them that if they suddenly drop their head to drink water or have to quickly raise it, they don't black out. Another system that they have to regulate the blood pressure within the body is that they have very tight skin around their legs, specifically the lower legs, which regulates the blood pressure within the legs, very similar to the G-suit of a fighter pilot. In fact, NASA developed their spacesuits based off these pressure socks that the giraffe have. <laughs> so NASA loves nature too. Very cool. So NASA has been studying giraffe. That is amazing. I did not know that. Now you asked about the dark purple color of a giraffe's tongue. Now that color hasn't got any significance to it being a browser, as some grazers also have a dark coloration to their mouth. 
dark color of the skin is just simply the pigment of the thick skin covering the tongue as well as inside the lips. Now they browse mainly on thorn trees and this thick skin enables them to feed on these thorn trees. They do not feed on the thorns but only on the leaves. Now another way that they are able to feed on thorn trees is they have what we call a prehensile tongue, very similar to the tail of a chameleon which helps the tongue to wrap around the branch of the tree and only strip off the leaves. Okay, cool, thank you. So Jason, we also saw this very weird giraffe that was eating grass, but I thought giraffe only eat leaves. We've sent you the clip, what do you think of it? Thank you for sending me that wonderful footage of that giraffe lying in the open plain. But if you take a close look at your footage, you will see that this giraffe's not grazing, but it's actually just picking up a little forb or a little shrub that it happened to see when it went down to lie on the ground. Now, the reason why it is highly unlikely for giraffe to be grazing is because it puts them in a very vulnerable position against predators. And so what you see happening here is this giraffe must have felt very comfortable being in an open space. Hence, it went down to lie down because you also don't see them often lying down and it must have just spotted this little shrub or this little forb and just picked it up at that moment. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, it looked like grass. We should have looked a bit closer. Thanks for pointing that out. That's why you're the expert. It was a pleasure to chat to you guys and see you guys soon. Cheers, buddy. That is so interesting. Wow, yeah. we learned a lot today. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Their family name is Giraffe Day, mm -hmm. as Jason told us. That's, that's classic. I think that's so funny. So next time I'm like just relaxed and enjoying my day, I'm going to say, I'm having a Giraffe Day. Yeah, okay. No? So something else interesting about the giraffe's name. Its Latin name, part of it is Camelopardus, or something like that, which right. comes from the two words that mean camel and leopard. They kind of look the shape of a camel, sort of, and their skin kind of looks patchy and spotty, like a leopard. Hmm. I found that interesting. That is very interesting. One of the local languages spoken here in South Africa is Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. And in that language, their name for the giraffe is Camille Pert. Yes. So Camille Pert, camel horse. Hmm. <laughs> and I guess when they first saw it, they thought, well, it looks a bit like a camel and looks a bit like a horse it's just much bigger <laughs> yeah. so yeah and it's interesting that that's stuck that's hmm. like over hundreds of years that's still the name i think it's a really cool name yeah no the giraffe has a very interesting name history for sure <laughs> so we've learned a lot about giraffe today we know they have long necks yep they and do and we know they eat leaves mm -hmm. and they eat shrubs but they don't really eat grass, although it yeah. might look like that. <laughs> yeah. And we also learned that the really awkward process they go through to drink water and why they're so scared, it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the crocodile grabbed him by the face and stretched his neck. Yeah, yeah that's of course true. And Completely. And 100% accurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, what else did we learn? And we learned why they don't get dizzy when they move their head from way down on the ground to way up in the sky. And they have a really big heart. I mean, I think that's why we're drawn to them when we see them. They're always at peace and... They are such peaceful animals with long purple tongues. We really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. And we're so excited to make more videos for you. So if you enjoyed watching our video, please hit the subscribe button. There's no charge. If you've never subscribed on YouTube before, don't worry, there's no charge. It just means that YouTube will let you know when we publish another video. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy learning about nature too. Is it still rolling? I hope so. Fine. Oh, no, the camera wasn't rolling. We're going to have to do the whole video again. Okay, well, okay. there's a lot to say about there giraffe. Is. And giraffes are awesome. They have long necks. And really big feet. And they've got something that makes them able to not get dizzy mm -hmm. when they drink. But they're still afraid of drinking. Because of crocodiles. Yes, exactly. And um, they have a purple tongue. That's weird. 
and a big heart. And they're known as Giraffe Day, Giraffe Day. We're all having a Giraffe Day. No.